Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now today I'm going to be going on a step-by-step -step guide to growing your money in 2023. Now as you can see it's really really cold so it's not going to be a very long video you know because my wife is holding the camera and she's really cold and she's warned me you know honey don't make this a long video so I'm going to make it short. Now the November jobs report came out December 2nd and you see that in America um, it was expected that jobs were going to go down but they actually went up 263,000 jobs were produced and another thing about the jobs report is that there was an increase in wages and salaries it went up by 0.63 percent which is actually double what was expected so obviously the feds what they're doing with the rates hike raising it up by uh, as uh, by another 0 0.75 basis point to 3.75 it hasn't worked so i mean that's common sense you don't have to even wait for the feds to tell you it's common sense to tell you that they're going to increase the rates again so now since they're going to increase the rates again What's going to happen is because they need to fight inflation they need to bring inflation down and the only way they can do that the only tools available to, uh, for them is either they the you know and they're not going to devalue so they have to increase the rates and then we're seeing that as the increasing the rates is having an impact on the housing market but that's not what's going to happen what what i'm talking about right now is that investments in paper assets are not the way to go now because really nobody knows what's going to happen with the market Deutsche Bank is predicting that the S&P 500 is going to plateau at uh, 4,000 basis points. And so that means there's going to be no growth in the S&P 500. So if you're going to be putting your money in the S&P 500 for next year, you're going to be seeing like a zero earning per share. So you're going to be seeing an, a zero EPS earning per share. And so there's really no point in going into all of that effort and then having a zero earning per share. So what do you do with your money? You know, I mean, money can just be stagnant. But here's the thing, the housing market is going down, but then we don't know when the bottom of the market is going to be. I have a pretty good idea. I think it's going to be sometime around March, April, May. But I may be wrong. These are just projections. And then we're seeing that shares are not a very good asset, asset to hold right now because of what the projection for the stock market is. And then if the Feds increase interest rates, which they have to do because of the jobs report and the earnings going up, and that means that inflation is not going to go down except to increase the interest rates, then what we're going to see is that when they increase the interest rates, we're going to see that, you know, America will start to share jobs. And according to Bank of America, if we go by their projections, beginning from next year, America is going to be shedding 180,000 jobs every year. So. What I'm going to advise you, what I'm going to counsel you to do, now this is my opinion, although I use the word advice, is to keep your money in cash and wait out the bottom of the market because the dollar cost averaging for paper investments, as far as I'm concerned, is not worth it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just have my cash ready to be able to go into real estate because that's where I see that we're going to be making the most money in the year 2023. But here's the thing. If you're in a country like Nigeria or Ghana, which is facing devaluation, or even Kenya, Kenya is facing devaluation, but not to the extent that Nigeria and Ghana are, or Cambodia, Nepal, Bangladesh, what's going to happen to you? Because you can't just keep your money in cash and then your central bank is devaluing your money. So what I will counsel you to do is this. Get your money from Kenyan shilling, Nigerian Naira, Ghanaian CD, from Venezuela and Bolivar, and then, or whatever currency that you're holding it in, and then put it in a stable currency like the US dollar. So you can, you can, what, what you can do that various ways, you know, you can actually get USDD, which has one on one parity with the US dollar. Or if you don't like cryptocurrency, then you go the old fashioned way. You know, you go through a bank or you go through a borrowed exchange, but you need to get your money out of your local currency, hold it in a stable currency, and then wait out the bottom of the market. Because, I mean, this, this, I mean, it's not going to be like this forever. We're going to have the bottom of the market someday, but we don't know when it's going to be. So you need to hold your wealth in cash. And then the best way to do that is to put it in a stable currency. The British pound has not been as stable as it used to be. Now, of recent, it's becoming more, it's, it's, it's improving. But it's, it's, in the past four months, it's, it's, it's shaking my confidence. So I wouldn't, rec I wouldn't recommend that you put your money in the British pound. I would say put your money in the dollar. And then by March, when the market begins to correct itself, and then we've seen probably the bottom of the real estate market, put your money in real estate, and then you can put your money back in paper assets. Now, that's going to be my counsel for how you can preserve your wealth and increase it in the year 2023. Now, this is Renaud Mercury. Thank you for watching. And remember, I do not have a WhatsApp for her. 
a Gmail email account or a Telegram channel. Beware of spammers and scammers who are going to approach you in the comment section of this video telling you helpline guideline. Those are not me. This is the Apostle of Prosperity saying God bless you. But when no travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. Apostle of greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the old world in large. Fighting with the monsters, poverty I can't stand. That's why Reno is a